Hello everybody, I am Jonathan with Greer Bits and welcome back to Greer History Class. For today's episode, I want to tell you about a very strange set of artifacts. Now, if you're walking around the museum, you might run across this staff. When you look at it closely right here, you can see that there are animals on it. Two snakes and creatures that definitely are not from Greer. Now you'll also see this long paddle-like object with a little hook at the end. You'll see a wooden sharpened object. All these strange objects that obviously aren't from Greer, but how did they end up in the Greer Heritage Museum? Well, to talk about that, we have to first talk about a guy who grew up right here in Greer, whose name was Bunks. Now Bunks grew up here in Greer, he went to Greer High School. But in his lifetime, World War II was just beginning. So he went into the military service. Now he was put on the Western Front, so fighting against the Japanese. And during his service, he ended up in Australia. Now while he was in Australia, he came across these artifacts and he actually brought them home. The first is this Australian staff. Once you know it's Australian, you can understand it much more than if it were from Gruyer. But he also brought some other artifacts. That paddle that we looked at earlier, look at it a little bit more closely. This was used as a lever, as to throw spears. That sharpened wooden stick is a spear that would have been hurled with the lever, the spear throwing paddle. So it's so cool to look at these crazy things that he brought back. The other thing he brought back was this. It's a very small shield. You can see it's very small and narrow and it would be held from the back. These things, when he came home, eventually ended up here in the Greer Heritage Museum after many years, and they're still here and on display today. It's really cool to look back and see how this one man brought Australian history and made it part of Greer's history. Thank you for watching today's episode of Greer History Class. I'll be sure to see you tomorrow.